Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys the stop motion effect in DaVinci Resolve 16.1. So this effect was just added, and what it allows you to achieve is basically the same look as an old style of animation called stop motion. So if you're not familiar with stop motion, it's basically where you have a still image in front of the camera, and these might be inanimate objects such as a Lego character. That's a really common example that people do it with. But you actually want to animate the character. And how you do it is that you take an image of it in one pose, and then you take a break for a second, and you move it and adjust it into a new position, and continue taking another shot, and you repeat that process until you have your animations. So it's a very time consuming process, and as a result, you probably don't do 30 frames for every second of video, but rather just a few, and therefore the animation tends to look kind of janky. So to get that same kind of effect is insanely easy with DaVinci Resolve. In the newest version, we go over to the effects library, and we can find the stop motion effect inside of open effects and then stop motion. Once you've done that, you drag it onto your clip, and we can hide the effects library here. And now over in the inspector in the open effects tab, we'll see the settings for stop motion. So there's only two. The first is the main one, which is frame repeat. So for every frame of video, how many times do you want that frame to repeat? So by having a frame repeat multiple times, it basically overrides the real frames that are in front of that, and it gives it the very unsmooth stop motion look. So with Global Blend, we basically determine how much of the original video should show through on this frame. Now, most effects actually have the Global Blend effect, and if you add any blend, it will look kind of like having the stop motion effect as a completely separate layer of video that kind of rests on top of your original video. So let's go ahead and play it with Frame Repeat 5 and Zero Blend, and you'll see how the actors move but it looks very janky, almost like they had been frozen in time for a few frames a second, and that's exactly what stop motion gives you as a look. But kind of interesting, if we add in some global blend, then we can have a mix of those freeze frames and the original video, where of course the person is walking normally. So if we have a global blend of 500, we can get an interesting effect where we have the freeze frames on top, where the character will be stuck in place for a few frames, but underneath that, the person will still be walking as normal in the full frames per second of the original recorded video. So if we hit play with some global blend added on, it kind of gives us a blurry look to it because there's an after image, and I think this kind of effect could be used for something like a dream sequence, where you're trying to indicate that the person viewing might not be 100% aware of his surroundings or kind of seeing things in a not 100% accurate manner. But aside from that, uh, what we can adjust is how much of the stop motion effect we want, and the way we do that is of course adjusting the frame repeat. So if you want it to look much closer to the original video, then we drop the frame repeat down. So you can have every other frame be frozen by having a frame repeat of 1. So if we hit play here, you can see it looks a little bit unsmooth, but not too much. And we can also crank that all the way up to something like 8, where there's a lot of that stop motion going on. And of course, if we don't want the global blend, we can turn that off and then just have a pure stop motion effect. So that's pretty much all there is to this new effect that they added in in the most recent version, 16.1. If you're interested in this kind of style or look, I'm sure this will be a really handy tool for you since it's so easy to use, but that's gonna be it for this video. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.